Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday Reflection from Holy Saviour Church in Hitchin. We hear a lot about the slave trade and its lasting effects, but less about the people who worked to abolish the practice. One such person was John Coleridge Patterson, a distant relation of the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Brought up in Devon, he attended Eton before studying at Balliol College, Oxford. A talented linguist and keen cricketer, Patterson travelled widely in Europe after graduating in 1849. After his ordination as priest in 1854, he was immediately recruited as a missionary to the South Seas by the Bishop of New Zealand. Initially based in Auckland, he travelled round the islands of Melanesia. He preached to local communities and set up schools, but was respectful of local cultures and customs. He was keen to educate the boys in Christianity in order to equip them as future leaders. In 1861, Pattison was consecrated as the first Bishop of Melanesia and Jinju Kors set up home on Norfolk Island where his house served as a school, mission station and a chapel. He suffered from bouts of malaria and exhaustion and he and his companions were not always made welcome. After one attack, two died from injuries caused by poisoned arrows. On what was to be his final visit to New Kapu in the Solomon Islands in September 1871, Pattison was attacked and killed in what was probably a case of mistaken identity. He had long campaigned tirelessly to suppress slavery and blackbirding, a term used to describe the kidnapping of people to work as poorly paid labourers. The practice was still common in the region, despite the slave trade being illegal by this time. His death caused uproar back in England and the government resolved to stamp out slavery for the final time in their Pacific territories. Pattison could have chosen to have a comfortable life as a priest at home in England, but instead chose the difficult and dangerous life of a missionary on the other side of the world. However, St Barnabas Chapel on Norfolk Island was dedicated in his memory in 1880 and the work of the Bishop Patterson Theological College means that he is still remembered today. The hymn I've chosen is For the Healing of the Nations. <laughs> 